Okay, so different sets of data have different levels of measurement. Um, from lowest to highest, we have nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. Um, as you go down the list, each level adds something to how that data can be measured. So one level of complexity extra each time you go down the list. Nominal uh, essentially is data that has no natural order. So examples would be eye color, uh, religion, major. Um, most categorical data would fall into the nominal category of measurement, um, but not all. We could go to the next level of ordinal. And ordinal has, no, has a natural order, but differences between the data values are not defined. So for example, any kind of ranking, um, small, medium, or large, um, first, second, or third, you know, there's no, the idea of you know, subtracting the third place finisher from the fifth place finisher, that difference between those two doesn't make sense. Um, you could put a lot of things into ordinal category by putting them in alphabetical order. So uh, for example, last names by themselves would be nominal, everyone's last name. But if you wanted to uh, put an order on them, you could say, well, let's look at the last names alphabetically and then it would be ordinal or same thing like the states in the United States. Um, just the set of 50 states would be nominal, but if you said, let's look at the states alphabetically, then they would fall under an ordinal category. So anything that's in some kind of ranking or in some kind of alphabetical order will fall under the ordinal level of measurement. The next level down, or the next more complex level would be interval. So interval has a natural order, and in this case, differences are defined, but ratios or division is not. Um, and this is because it has no natural zero. Mm -hmm. So the data generally has a man-made zero, and really there's only two sets of examples that we deal with in this level of measurement, and they are um, the temperature scales, so both Fahrenheit and Celsius. When we say, you know, zero degrees Fahrenheit, it's just an arbitrary position where we decided that's gonna represent zero. Um, same thing with Celsius. Uh, zero degrees in Celsius happens to be the, the temperature that water freezes at, but again, it's an arbitrary man-made zero. Um, and, you know, you can think about the ratios of, of two days, you know, is 80 degrees twice as hot as 40 degrees? That doesn't really make sense. Um, you know, 40 degrees is cold and 80 degrees is warm. So you can't uh, look at the ratio, one is not twice as hot as the other one. Um, another example is the calendar year. You know, this is the year 2018, this is 2018 years after a year that was arbitrarily made zero, you know, in the, on, I guess in the Roman calendar. Um, there would be other calendars where this would be a different numbered year. Um, I don't know what they are, but um, <laughs> we're using this one, 2018. But the, the zero point, the starting point, was a, at the year that uh, humans decided this would be zero. Um, and then the last level of measurement, the most highest order level, would be ratio. It has a natural order in which differences and ratios are defined. And the reason that ratios are defined here is because it has a natural zero. So this is generally data that can be measured and as such has units attached. So examples would be height. You know, when we talk about something or weight, um, being you know, zero inches tall, it has no height. And then you go one inch and then two inches and then three inches, but zero inches has meaning. Or something weighing nothing, weighing zero, it means it has no weight. Um, so that is a natural zero. And you can talk about someone being twice as tall as someone else. Someone who's eight feet tall is twice as tall as someone who's four feet tall. So that's what we mean by the ratios being defined. Um, ratios, so it's either division or you could think of it as multiplication. Um, same thing as weight. You know, someone weighs twice as much, I weigh twice as much as I did 20 years ago. It's probably not true, but. Um, <laughs> 
you, you know what I, you can see what I mean there. We can compare weights of people and we can say that one is a ratio of the other. Um, so to recap, levels of measurement, nominal is the lowest level of measurement. It has no natural order. Ordinal has a natural order, but the differences between data values are not defined. Um, interval has a natural order in which differences are defined, but the ratios between two values are not defined. And this is because the interval level of measurement, the data has no natural zero. The zero is generally man-made. And really the only two examples that we have are gonna be temperature scales and the calendar year. Only two things that fall under interval category. And then ratio is the highest level of measurement, has a natural order in which both differences and ratios are defined and it's because it has that natural zero. Um, so if you'll notice, you know, that as you go up complexity in the levels of measurement, one thing is added at each scale. So, so sometimes the questions will ask, you know, what's the difference between nominal and ordinal? Well, the difference is that in, in ordinal, differences, uh, ordinal has a natural order, but nominal does not. What's the difference between ordinal and interval? The difference between ordinal and interval is that in interval, the differences are defined, but in ordinal, they're not. What's the difference between interval and ratio? In interval, ratios are not defined, but in ratios, they are. So knowing the difference between any two levels is important, um, and then knowing sort of examples within each level. So how I can test this content is I can sort of say, identify what level of measurement this data set is, so eye color, that's nominal, um, small, medium, large, ordinal, degrees Fahrenheit, interval, height and feet, ratio. Or I can say, you know, give me an example of each level of measurement. So I can say, what's an example of interval measurement? An example of ordinal, nominal, or ratio measurement. Um, and then the last thing I can ask is to identify the difference between any two pairs. So they would always go sort of the next one up, and I would say, what's the difference between nominal and ordinal, ordinal interval, interval ratio? Um, and you should practice those on your own, both coming up with examples and taking the examples, finding the levels, and then listing out what the differences between each level is.